Hey everybody, PJ here, and today we're going to show you how to program your radio. Uh, and specifically, we're going to use a TID Radio H3. Now, these are fantastic little radios, and if you want to buy one yourself, uh, I'm leaving a link and a discount, a discount code below, and you can get 5% off one of these radios. So, what do you think? Absolutely fantastic. So, the beauty of this radio is, to program it, we just pull this off the side here, and we plug a USB-C cable in here. Like that. And that's it. We can program it now. Now we're going to use a program called Chirp. Now Chirp is not another name for a budgie or anything like that. It's a programming piece of programming software. And with Chirp we can do all sorts of things to make our radio work really, really well. Right, so my copy of Chirp is open. I'm going to plug my radio in now. There we go, turn it on. And I'm going to go to radio. Download from radio. Now it says uh, COM9. If you want to know what your COM port is, go to the Windows logo on your computer, right click it, and then look for COM ports, and it'll tell you what COM port is. Now I'm on a TID radio, but as you can see, there's there's loads and loads of different makes on here. So uh, we'll click on TID radio, and that's the correct radio, the TDH3. And we're going to go OK, and it's going to communicate with my radio and download everything. Let's have a look. And there you go, you can see everything on there. So I'm going to delete all that, and I'm going to show you how to put uh, repeaters in. So click on delete, 14 memories, there we go, done. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to radio and then uh, query source and repeater book. Now I'm in the United Kingdom, but there are loads and loads of different countries, so make sure you select the correct country. We're on amateur. Latitude and longitude I'm leaving, distance is 60 kilometers, and I live in workshop, open repeaters only. I'm going to turn that off. Certain modes, FM and DMR, just to show you what happens if you select something that won't work on your radio. Click OK, and there we go. We've got three repeaters in workshop. So I'm going to click on there. On the zero, hold shift and click on the number two, right click, copy, go back to my original file, click on number one and click on paste. And that's put those in. Right, let's have a look around Sheffield because I go around Sheffield quite a lot. So query source and repeat a book again. This time I'm going to put Sheffield in. And click OK. We've got all of those there. So I'm going to click on the 12, hit Shift, click on the 0. Now we've got some here, look, that are DMR and other stuff like that, which won't go in the radio, allegedly. So we're going to right click and copy, go back to the original file. I'm going to click on paste. Now, as you can see, it says here, not supported, D star, DMR not supported, etc., etc. Now that's left some gaps in there. So I want to get rid of those gaps. So we've already highlighted on number four. Press the shift button, click on number six, right click, delete, and click on memories and shift all up. So it's going to delete all those empty spaces and shift everything up and the same again seven shift nine right click delete memories and shift all up right let's have a quick look uh, at rotherham so query source repeater box and we're going to go for rotherham
key. We've got four more there. The bottom one's DNR. So it probably won't put that one in. So click on the zero, hold shift, click on number three, right click, copy, go back up here, and pick. And you see it does not support D star. So it's only put three in, it's missed that bottom one off. One last one. I tend to go to Durham quite a bit. So that's where my daughter lives. So we'll once again we'll go in query source and repeat a book. So let's just put Durham in there. Pink Panther Country. Durham. Durham. Okay. Now it looks like we're only going to get one out of this, but let's just see once again if it's going to leave those gaps. So copy. And paste. Yep, it has look. DN not supported, D star not supported. So we'll just get rid of those exactly the same. Hit shift, click on the 14, delete two memories, shift block up. And there we go. Now we've got a local um, channel here that's uh, like a local chat channel. I'll just put that in 144.600000. Make sure I've got the same in there as I've in there, the same number of digits. I'm going to call this local. So I've clicked on it twice. Well, Okay, and that's that done. Now then, if we have a look on here, some of these channels require a tone mode. Okay, now tone is no good. We need to change those to TSQL. I don't know if I can do them all at once, actually. I don't think so. So I'm going to go down here and change them all. I'll restart the video when I've done, and we're done. Right, so I've deleted all the repeater books. Now, as you can see, we've got uh, tone in here. Now what that actually does is that opens the repeater up. If you don't have a tone in, then the repeater won't open. You can call it, but nothing will happen. Okay. So uh, this one here doesn't have a tone. And this last one here doesn't have a tone. Now that means that they are duplex. Okay, so there, so we've got some of them are plus and one of them is minus. So that's the channel that you receive on. And then when you transmit, it adds 7.6 onto the frequency. So it transmits on a different frequency to what it receives on. Okay, so that's about that there. What we're going to do now is upload to radio. Oh, no, let's have a look at settings first. So basic settings, squash level is 2. Continuous light. Now, now it's some uh, green stops on for five seconds, ten, etc., etc., and continuous. I like it on continuous. Voice prompt is when you change menus and things, it gives you a, vo uh, a voice prompt. It uh, receives on uh, two channels. Can't transmit on two channels, obviously. And everything else. Oh, this, uh, underneath the uh, PTT button. There's a single button, and I've changed that to lamp uh, for short press and a long press. I'm leaving as FM radio, so I can listen to my local radio. So bandwidth is narrow. I'm going to change that to wide. Got English on there. We'll come down here. Now I've changed my power on message for my call sign, and then who I am. And then I've just left the bottom one as PDH3. Okay. 
on the AB channels, I don't basically change anything there. Everything seems okay on there. FM, I've put 107.9 in, which is uh, the local greatest hits radio, which is what I listen to. And the DTMF, I more or less leave everything there. So, let's upload this now to the radio. So, we click on radio, upload to radio. Everything stays the same. Click on OK. And there it goes into the radio. And that's it. Done. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. So, that's how you program your radio. Now, it's not complicated, it's not hard, it's not difficult. Get yourself a copy of Chirp, plug your radio in, and off you go. Now, like I say, this is one of the few radios that you can actually program with uh, a USB-C cable. There are one or two others. We've got this uh, Anytone here. Now, this is a digital radio. Now, this one can only be programmed with a USB-C cable. And we've also got the TID Radio H8, which can be programmed with a USB-C cable. So, you don't need the usual uh, funny type pin to go in here. Same as you do with such as a Bowfang or anything like that. You can do it with a USB-C cable. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.